Hey everyone, welcome to Beach Investing. I'm your host, Andre Andrzejewski. We are in the final reveal of this luxurious triplex that is in the Lansdowne and Dundas area. Make sure you click on the link below to get see the, the before video and you'll see a huge transformation of what it was and what it is today. So let me first walk you through this place and then I'll talk to you about the numbers and how this owner, this investor has been able to make $4,000 of monthly cash flow. All right, but let's, let's, let's walk you through this place first. Okay, so going into the basement, you access it through the front. So we had to make an entrance from the front because the space between the houses was not wide enough. So therefore the building code requires you to make an access to the front. So there you go, you go down to the front, you open up the door and you walk into the living room, open concept to the kitchen. I don't know if you remember the, the basement before, but that was pure, it was a pure dungeon. Like there was a room in the back, which is now the bedroom, but that was like scary. <laughs> so now it's gorgeous. It's got an eight foot ceiling height, open concept living room, uh, living room kitchen. You walk through the hallway, you access your first bedroom. This is a two bedroom apartment. Both bedrooms are a good size. They both have closets, windows. Then you have this bathroom, which is a stand up shower and one feature about this place, the whole house, is that the heating, there's no furnace. It's all heated through in-floor hydronic heating. Every floor has in-floor heating, which is phenomenal. It's a space saver, it's a money saver, because your gas goes low, and it makes it really comfortable. And there's an extra layer of insulation between all the units, so noise and sound travel will be a lot less. It's a big factor. Then we go to the main floor which is access through the back or the front. Now we enter through the back here and you walk into your again living room and kitchen, open concept again. These kitchens, they're beautiful. They're quartz countertops with quartz backsplash, uh, great furnishings here. And then you have again, two bedrooms in this unit as well with the bathroom and its own laundry. Now each unit, if you can remember that I recommend always separating uh, separating the, elect the hydro. So this unit has separate hydro meters. Now, going to the upstairs, you walk up to the front of the house and you have your own entrance that goes all the way upstairs. And you walk up and you see this bright, open concept living room and kitchen. The kitchen is, uh, you know, a dark kitchen here, but it the light, there's two big skylights that just amplify this, this space and it gives it that beautiful feel. Then you have one bedroom in the front of the house and one bedroom in the back of the house, both great sizes. The one in the back of the house has its own balcony. It has, you know, some chairs, a table there, sliding doors. They both have closets. The one in the front has a great little nook there for your own desk and a big size uh, for a big bed as well. And again, it has its own laundry and bathroom. So let's get to the meat and potatoes here. This house was purchased in the beginning of the pandemic. It took roughly almost two years to complete this place. There was lots of delays, um, lots of contractors that came in and out that were, you know, it, it, was, it, was, a, it, was, a, it was a big challenge, but the owner here, he stuck through it he hired a lot of people, he fired a lot of people, but in the end, he learned a ton. There was mistakes made, but a lot of lessons learned. If you wanna know more about that, reach out and I'll tell you, because it's you know it's gonna take up too much time here. The owner, they bought it, they put in $500,000 of renovations. Then they got it reappraised, they refinanced, and they were able to get back all their money, their down payment and the renovation money pretty much all of it back with the exception of $100,000 that was left in the property of their own money, of their own capital. Okay, that is phenomenal. Now here is where it gets really good. Instead of renting out the place unfurnished, they decided to look into renting it out furnished. Short-term rentals, Airbnb. Now they found a company that they were able to find. And then this company came in, did a full analysis of what each unit could rent out for. They even told them how to furnish the place, 
what they needed, what they didn't need, how many TVs they needed, how many beds, how many pull-out couches they need. So all these couches that you saw in the video were all actually pull-out couches, which added another bed for someone else to sleep in. So here's the numbers. After all fees, so the, the, the property management fee, Airbnb fees, each unit would average $4,500 per month. And that is factoring a 60% occupancy. Not 100%, not 80%, a 60% occupancy, you would still average out per month, per unit, there's three units, $4,500 a month. Let's even lower that to $4,000 a month. And just to make it even more conservative, $4,000 a month times three units is $12,000 a month of gross income in your pocket. Now, how much are his expenses per month? His mortgage, his utilities, internet, maintenance of the lawn, snow maintenance, um, adding in their insurance, property taxes, uh, basically everything we factored in, everything was $8,000. $8,000, he's making 12, you take away the 8,000, that's $4,000 of monthly cash flow. That is phenomenal and that is factoring a 60% occupancy rate at a conservative rental amount. So. I don't know about you, but I want one of these. And how many of these do you actually need to, to, to reach your financial goals? I'm so proud of this investor. He did a phenomenal job. I have several other investors doing this short-term rental uh, strategy and they're all making it work very similarly. So you know what, you wanna hear more about this, how to do it yourself, reach out to me. I'd love to talk to you. Reach out on my website, beachinvesting.com. Look forward to hearing from you. Congratulations to the owner. Talk to you soon.